Good morning, everyone. It's Carrie Bramley, physio and Pilates instructor here. So we've been working on, you know, specific things to do with how we position the neck and the shoulders and some of the knee things. And last week, I showed you the start stretches and the hamstring stretches using a stool. Now, you're welcome to do that again. Um, but I'm going to progress it today to do the start stretches on the floor. And I've got a chair here. <clears throat> I've got a chair. I, I like a fairly solid chair. But anyway, um, and something that's got some softness on the top for resting your foot. I prefer that. Um, this is a plastic cover, but of course you could have something with material. That's that's okay. I just find when I do the quad stretches and you know the top of my foot rests on on the chair, I like to have something softer. But you could put a towel there if you'd like to. Okay, and I've still got my towel just to remind you, folded like this. <laughs> Um, just to remind you for your head position, I don't need a towel anymore because I can tuck my chin in and I've got enough extension now in my upper back that I can lie in a bit of position. But we don't want you lying back like this with your head like that, okay? We want that neutral head position. And what, uh, so those are all the, um, except for the chair, well... You might use the stool for the hams and quads. And then I'm going to use the broomstick for our arms again. But also when we do the single leg lifts and um, changeovers, just so that you can see how you can use the broomstick to help you with your core. All right. Um, I think those are the only things. So we'll, we'll see how we go through. Thank you for joining me. I hugely appreciate that. <laughs> um, we're in winter now, so I've got my socks on. But, uh, you know, it is better to do Pilates without your socks on so that you can have the sensation coming through your feet. Um, and, of course, I do these in my kitchen while everyone's asleep. So we've got a wooden floor here and it's pretty chilly, even though we've got insulation underneath. Pretty chilly um, on the floor. Um, I've got my mat out already. Uh, what are the other things that I need to tell you? Right, so I think we just get going with our standing roll downs. Still thinking about the chin tucked in and shoulders back and down. Upright in the body, all those things, the alignment with the leg, all the things we've been working on. Okay, I'm just going to put my broomstick down for a little while. We'll just start with our standing roll downs. So feet and knees hip distance apart. With knees hip distance apart. So your feet will look a little bit wider. Shoulders back and down. Pull the thumb in. Soften. So get your chin tucked in, poke, lower, roll, and reach. You want quite a big stretch in your upper back with this, okay? Breathe in. Breathe out. So chin tuck, shoulders back and down, back straight, knees in alignment, and push up in that position. Fantastic. Okay. So now we're coming down onto the floor, and we will do our start stretches. So this is what we were working on last week. Is just getting those start stretches so that you took the hamstring tension off by sitting on a stool 
and if you still need to do that do that this is just the progression of it okay just trying to show you all the progressions so this gap or the where your feet come together in line with your belly button upright and of course it's your back muscles lifting you upright like that here we go chin tucked in breathe in breathe out to come up and over okay so that is the position with normal shoulders okay so which arm shall i pretend this time so this is going to be my not so good shoulder today all right and we are going to go like this all right because you know i don't want you to be lifting like this and changing your position here we go breathe in breathe out pull in sternum to belly button Breathe in, breathe out to come up, reaching, so here we go, shoulders, back, and down, good, we continue that process, so we go straight leg, knee in line with the hip, kneecap to the ceiling, and if you can, oh, show you, if you can, starting to squeeze those thighs so that the heel comes off the floor okay let's get my kneecap to the ceiling here we go upright with the body so you should feel this part of the leg because you're using the quads to stretch the hamstrings and we're using our posture to stretch the hamstrings here we go breathe out to come up and over chin tucked in Breathe out, pull in, sternum to belly button. Breathe in, out to come up. Reaching, and shoulders back and down. Good. Bring that leg in. Change over to the other side. Knee in line with the hip. Ooh, I can feel a few muscles today. <laughs> I did heaps of gardening yesterday. Here we go. Breathe out. Up and over. Breathe in. Chin tucked in. Tummy pulled in. Sternum to belly button. Breathe in. Out to come up. Reaching. And shoulders. Back and down. Good. Both legs together. Breathe out. Up and over. Chin tucked in. Tummy pulled in. Sternum to belly button. Breathe in. Breathe out to come up. So kneecaps to the ceiling. Reaching. Shoulders. Back. And down. Okay. So now we are pointing the toes. I've just got to always work on this side. Because my toe wants to come in. My leg wants to do its thing. Here we go. Breathe out to come up and over. Breathe in. Out, pull in. Sternum to belly button. Breathe in. Out to come up. Reaching. Shoulders. Back. And down. Good. Okay. So now we come back to the middle just to reposition ourselves, okay? Because otherwise what, what lands up happening is that we land up with the feet stuck right here and then you're not actually aligned properly. So come back to the middle, line yourself up. Straighten one leg again. So still the kneecap to the ceiling. So we want to now be turning from the waist. This is our rotation start stretch. So this is my not so good arm, but if it was okay, you'd be in this position, winging and shoulder back and down. Okay, so we're gonna to go to this leg first. Here we go, breathe in. Just take that so that you can see, kneecap to the ceiling. Upright, shoulders back and down. Turning, reaching up, holding the turn. 
find some more lift back to the middle and shoulders back and down good changing over so just make sure this hand doesn't push your head forward winging shoulder back and down to turn reaching up holding the turn find some more lift back to the middle and shoulders back and down good bring that leg back in amazing you know <laughs> my system wow you know just my back injury was when i was 20 22 i think and um still to this day so with all that gardening yesterday here i am fighting this leg again anyway thank goodness for this process i don't have to be suffering and I'm not limited as much functionally. Okay, so here, kneecap to the ceiling. Okay, bent arm on bent leg side. Winging, shoulder back and down, to turn. Reaching up, holding the turn. Find some more lift. Back to the middle and shoulders back and down. Good, changing over. So shoulder back and down, turn, reaching up, holding the turn, find some more lift, back to the middle, and shoulders back and down. Yeah, if it hadn't been for Pilates, I'd be a mess, I think. All right, but there are some other things that I've done as well to help. So let's get our chair. Feet are hip distance apart. We're going to take our weight across to one leg. Okay. Now, what I want you to think about so, this is going to be my gammy shoulder, but actually, this is the shoulder I battle with at any rate. So, we're going to really think about our upper body positioning here. So, knee straight, upper body positioning, weight across, pull the tummy, hitch, bring that leg up and balance up onto the chair so you're squeezing that thigh toes to the ceiling try not to turn that foot in just toes to the ceiling so here we go with our upper body positioning shoulders back and down you see mine just wants to come like that so shoulders back and down tuck the chin in pull tummy in Keep squeezing that thigh, keep the kneecap to the ceiling. Nearly there. One more breath, breathe in and out to bend. Knee in line with the hip, pull the tum in, lift balance, knee in line with the hip to come down. So what we're trying to get out of there is that you're bringing the leg up this way, okay? So that when you're walking, we, we're retraining that movement pattern, all right? So we need to practice it correctly. Otherwise your brain has the wrong movement pattern. Then when you do it fast, you are just going to go back to that movement pattern that you've been practicing. Weight across, hitch, pull them in. Okay, so we're balancing. Knee in line with the hip. Then up onto the chair, keep the hitch. 
Remember the hitch is to keep this buttock activated and also that's your core. Those are your oblique tummy muscles that we're working there. So kneecap to the ceiling, squeeze that thigh, bring the toes up, straight position if you can, pull the tummy in, and here we are. Shoulders back and down, shin tucked in. Everything's working. What we practice is what we become. So, you know, these movement patterns, we need to practice them correctly each time we do them. It's better to do fewer and do them correctly. So your foot will be working. It's the whole idea to practice the balance at the same time. Strengthen that leg. Breathe in. Breathe out to bend. Now, lift in line. Pull the tum in. Lift, balance, and replace. Fantastic. Okay, so now the chair's coming behind. Just go back a bit so I want you to be able to see my upper body. There we are. Wait across. You know, um, just I'm doing it to that left today, but just chop and change the side you start with or as well so that <laughs> your brain gets used to doing that. Weight across, hitch, bring this leg up, so in line if you can, bring that leg back, we want the stretch here, so now you're going to hitch, shoulders back and down, chin tucked in, you've got to pull your tummy muscles in here, because if you let that go, you will still get a stretch, but your back will be arched, so you've got to really pull in, okay, pull the tummy in, you want the stretch here, and if you still need more stretch, squeeze your buttocks, just keep that shoulder back and down, see mine keeps wanting to come up, keep pulling the tummy in, Nearly there. Breathe in. Breathe out to come out of it. Balance. And come down. So you should feel the leg as well when you're doing that. Okay, wait across to the other side. Hitch. Pull the tum in. Bring that foot up. Slide that foot back if you'd like to. Just depends on how much stretch. I've got to slide it back a little way to get the stretch now. So we shoulders back and down. Tuck the chin in, really pulling the tummy in. And if necessary, squeezing the buttocks to get that stretch. Want the stretch in the front here. Which was my shoulder again, so pulling it down.
Okay, so we're coming down onto the floor. And we're going to do our backwards arms with the broomstick. So I'm going to have my head this way <clears throat> and my legs that way. So we can go straight into the single leg lifts preparation and hundreds. <clears throat> the only thing I might just do is turn around before we do our um, single leg lift so that you can see where I've got the broomstick balanced on my tummy. Okay. Because this, just having the broomstick balancing on your tummy when you do the single leg lifts preparation in hundreds just makes you remember to pull that beeline in, okay? Because, you know, one of the key things for me with this was I, I used to push out to, to do my core and I'd hold my breath and it's exactly the opposite way. You've got to breathe out to move pull in, breathe out, pull in. <laughs> oh, it took me ages to get that. Okay, so we've just got to practice it correctly. All right, so here we come down onto the floor. <clears throat> okay, so I'm still going to pretend that this arm isn't my good arm, or it's my bad arm, okay? So I'll show you normal, and I'll show you um, modified, okay? So feet and knees hip distance apart, chin tucked in, if you need the towel under your head, do that. Here we go, breathe in. Breathe out, pull in, to come up. Breathe in, breathe out to come back with the arms. Just go to where you can. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to come down. So that would be modified, okay? And some of you might even be like this, okay? And that's okay too. So now we're going to go right up and over for normal, okay? I think I must come back still. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull in to come up and over. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull in to come down. So from here, you're using your shoulders to come back and down. <clears throat> Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to come up and over. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to come down. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to come up and over. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to come down. So now we just want to go for the straightest elbows we can get, okay? Still this arm distance. Here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Go the straightest elbow. So I'm just going to modify it. <clears throat> so you just come to where you can. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull in. Shoulders back and down to come down. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to come up, elbow straight. <clears throat> so now I'll try and go full range. <clears throat> breathe in, breathe out, pull in to come down, shoulders back and down. <clears throat> So now we come close to the ears, <clears throat> same thing, just do the range you can manage, breathe out, pull in to come up, breathe out, pull in to come up and over,
So now we widen the hand position and we're going to be bringing it down to the head. But remember, you might only be able to do it somewhere here, okay? And that's okay. I'm going to show you coming right over, but just do where you what you can manage for whatever shoulder doesn't have the right. <clears throat> breathe in, breathe out to come up and over, so wider. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to bring the arms down. Breathe in, breathe out to come up and over. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to come up and over. Breathe in, breathe out to bend. Breathe in, breathe out, push up to come down. Breathe in, breathe out to come up and over. Breathe out to bend. Breathe in, out to come up and over. We'll do one more. Breathe in and out to come up and over. Breathe out to bend. And to come down. Okay. Right. So I'm just going to go side on. So that you can see. But I really want you to, to look at my leg alignment. That's why I'm going to go the other way. But this is where you have the broomstick balanced. Okay. This is my belly button. You have the broomstick balanced there. And I like to have my hands just here. So that I can feel whether the broomstick is moving or not. I like to just monitor it that way. So you see, this is what I used to do. I used to do this. I used to push my tummy out to move. Okay. So we've got to breathe in. Breathe out. Pull in to move. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in, to move. So you just want very little movement on the broomstick, okay? Rather than something like that, okay? All right, so it's just a lovely little reminder because, you know, if you don't have someone watching you and helping you, like I do with people in the classes, it's very difficult difficult to know what you're doing. So this was a little trick. I can't even remember who taught me this, but it's a great little trick. Okay, so we're going to be here though, getting those knees in line with the hips. All right. Get the head positioned. Okay, here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull in to raise one leg. So remember, what we're trying to do here is not have the foot out to the side. It's probably better to have it more there. But actually, if you can have it with your ankle in line with your knee, that would be brilliant. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull in to lower. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull in to raise. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to lower, breathe in, breathe out, pull in to raise, breathe in, breathe out, pull in to lower, breathe in, breathe out, pull in to raise, breathe in. Breathe out, pull in, to lower. So now we're going to try that with the changing over of the legs, okay? Here we go. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in, to raise. So you still want to keep the broomstick as still as you can. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in, to change. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in, to change. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in, to change, breathe in, 
Breathe out, pull in to change. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to change. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to change. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in to change. And lower, okay? So once you've got the hang of that, then what I like to do is put my arms here so that you, let me come side on again. So you see, because then you have the arms underneath and you can really practice pulling the shoulders back and down while you're doing your changeovers. So that's what we're gonna try now, okay? So you're just gonna feel what this broomstick is doing we we'll do our changeovers and then we're going to do our hundreds with the same arm um, position and then legs up to the ceiling. But this time not coming together with the legs, just keeping the alignment of the knees. Okay, just so that we really get the quads. Let's see how we go. So still doing the changeovers or the preparation, it's also cool. Here we go, breathe in, breathe out, pull in, to raise. So shoulders are back and down, breathe in, breathe out, pull in, to change. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in, to change. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in, to change. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in, to change. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in, to change. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in, to change. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in, to change. And lower, okay? So you can do as many of those as you like. So now we're gonna go into our hundreds. Okay, where we're going to concentrate on the knee alignment and really squeezing the knee. And then when we come both together like this, so usually we go frog off, okay? But we are going to go separate so that you can look at what your feet are doing, really squeezing the knees, okay? Right, so we're doing an alignment thing today. Here we go. Breathe in, and you can work the arms as well. Breathe out to raise, and raise. Breathe in, breathe out to straighten. Turn that kneecap out, push the heel to the ceiling, go for the straightest knee. Breathe out, pull in, to low. Breathe in, breathe out to raise. Turn the kneecap out, pull the tummy in. Breathe in and out to bend. Breathe in and out to straighten. Turn those kneecaps out. Straighten the knees. Breathe in and out to bend. Here we go again. Breathe in. Breathe out to straighten. Breathe in. Out to bend. Breathe out to straighten. Squeeze the knee, breathe in and out to bend. Breathe out to straighten. Look at your feet, they want to be even. Squeezing the thighs and bend. I'm just going to start with the other leg this time just to change it. Breathe out to straighten. Breathe in and out to bend. Breathe in and out to straighten. Breathe out to bend. Both together. Breathe out. Straightening. Breathe in and out to bend. Breathe out to straighten. Breathe in and out to bend. Breathe in. Breathe out to straighten. Breathe in and out to bend. 
Breathe out to straighten. Breathe in and out to bend and lower and lower and lower. Awesome. Okay, awesome. So that's, you know, that's a really nice sort of half an hour um, little exercise routine. And what I would like to do now after this group that we've just done with neck and shoulders is start teaching you how to bring in the hip circles. So I might do that as a separate video, single leg circles. The different ways, I've done some with the straight leg, but we need to work on the bent leg positioning. So again, so that your brain gets um, an idea of, of how to move the hip. And then we bring that in. So we'll see if we can gradually work away at all these things. All right, so we're going to finish with the standing roll down. Shoulders back and down, tummy pulled in, soften, poke, lower, roll, and reach. Chest up, two push up. Thank you for your company. <laughs> And we will see you next time. Remember, I'd love you to share these videos. They're still free at this stage. I'd love you to be able to share them. You know, tell people about the group if it can help someone. Because I'm trying to really break them down for you all. Um, I'll be very happy. Thank you very much. Bye.